Okay, so I want you all to check out this video of something I, I saw online of a congressman. His name is Mr. Scott. And I think this is a, a committee hearing, um, the financial subcommittee. And it's chaired by uh, Maxine Waters. And the Secretary of Treasury is there giving a briefing. So this congressman begins to ask a question about farmers. Normally, when you see these things, uh, these meetings, there's a formality to it. Uh, congressman is normally given about five minutes to make a speech because there's so many people there or to, to ask questions. They give them about five minutes to speak. So I want you to hear him as he begins speaking. Then let me go to one other area uh, to you, um, Secretary Manichin. None of the lending facilities established have targeted the needs of our agriculture industry. Now, why do I mention that? Food. It's coming. I mean, I can't see why people can't see this crisis. Food shortages are coming. It's almost like the farmers have been the forgotten ones. Are they, are they qualifiable as small businesses? Many of them don't know. They're sort of out there, just drifting along the misty flats. What are you all doing to help uh, uh, lift up and make sure that we give our farmers, our rural communities, that kind of help that they need because all the food chain is going down. You hear about the closures, the food processors are going out, farmers are coming. These are small, most of them, but they're very important. Why can't they be qualified as small businesses? Where are they? They're getting lost in the shuffle. And if we get a food shortage, we're in, uh, well, Thank you, Mr. Lukemeyer. Notice they cut him off. They just cut him off right in the middle of his speech. They didn't bother to let um, the Secretary of Treasury even address the question. He immediately went to the next speaker. And he gave the impression of what? That he had said something in public probably shouldn't have said it. So let that sink in for a second. A congressman asked a legitimate question to the Secretary of Treasury, and he is abruptly stopped in the middle of what he's saying. And nobody bothers to answer his question in public. 